Hey guys, it's Barry, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on this entire tank right here. So, let's dive right into the video. So it's been a while since I've done an update video for you guys, so here it is. As you can tell, the tank is doing phenomenal. The fish, the corals, the sea urchin, they're all doing super well in this tank. So for the past few months, I haven't made any big changes to the tank, but a few weeks ago, I did add some hermit crabs to the tank. There's one right there. I added four blue leg hermit crabs and two, no, four, uh, I added four blue leg hermit crabs and three red leg hermit crabs. There we go. I also added a turbo snail back there, right next to Bob the sea urchin. And these hermit crabs are doing good. They're helping keeping the tank clean. I also added, as you can tell right there, that's some Pasilopora. Yesterday, I got back from a trip and picked up some corals, so I added Pasilopora right there. I also added some of these green mushrooms on this rock, some acans, and some zinnia. Now, if you've been following this tank for a while, you know that the Xenia that I did have in this tank for some reason died off, which I was really sad because it was doing super well, but I decided to try it again. These acants are a really cool color. They're red and bluish green, so hopefully they will do well. These green mushrooms are pretty cool, and on the rock it came on, it came with a little Paleothoa, so that's cool. Got a free coral. And this Pasilopora is an SPS coral, which is usually a lot harder to keep but it's actually one of the easier corals to keep that's in the SPS category. So I thought I'd just try it out, see if I could keep it. Now all these corals are just down on the substrate to get acclimated to the light up there. And I am probably gonna mount that Pasilopora on a frag plug just so it's not laying on its side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick water change on this tank to make this video a little bit longer because I don't know what else to talk about. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some salt water mixed up and start doing a water change on this tank. Well guys, I just took the lid off of the tank and now I'm just putting on some gloves. Don't wanna contaminate the tank with any oils or like lotion or soap on my hand so just wear some gloves got five gallons of salt water right underneath the camera also have another bucket for the siphon water that i'll take out of the tank got to turn off the power head and turn off the heater and I'll also turn off the hang on back filter that is right there i usually leave it on but for the sake of sound for this video i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off now what i'm gonna do is i have this little cup right here and there's a little bit of surface scum you can't really see it from the camera angle right now but I'm just gonna take this and go in the aquarium just like this and just take the top layer of the water off and hopefully get the surface scum out and just dump it in the bucket below. Usually takes about three or four of these to get all of the surface scum off of the top. All right, with all of the surface scum gone, now what I'm gonna do is take this turkey baster right here. And what I do with this is I go in and I just blast some of the live rock and get as much of the detritus and gross fish poop and stuff out of it as possible. Now that the tank is all nice and cloudy and disgusting, I can start siphoning out that water. And to do that, I, uh, you know, use a siphon. So just stick it in. And I start a siphon by lifting up the water, putting it down. And there we go, we got a siphon going. I like to gravel vac the substrate just to get as much detritus and gross stuff out of it as possible. And I try my best not to suck up any of the hermit crabs because that would be bad. The tank is officially drained. Now all that's left is to just fill it back up. And how I fill it up is I just use this pitcher, fill it up from a five gallon bucket and then just dump it in. Thank you. 
one water change later and the tank is looking good. I rearranged some of these corals that were over here on this side of the tank and moved them more in the center. And I mounted this Postolopora on a frag plug so it's actually standing straight up, which is nice. And I moved the Xenia back here where the old Xenia was just because it's a low flow area and I feel like they like low flow better. And I don't know about you, but I think the tank looks a lot better than it did. These A cans right here have expanded a lot. They're huge now. Also, some of these corals look a little hungry to me, so let's go feed them. All right, got the coral food. It's just some mysis shrimp with a little bit of fish food in it. I'm just gonna mix it up. Got a little bit in this little syringe, so now it's time to feed the corals. Nope, just kidding. Uh, I kind of forgot to click record, so my bad on that part. Uh, but here's some cool cinematic shots of my fish to end the video, so uh, thanks for watching anyways.